happening in Gulf Tar land at the turn of the century. A search for the nation's soul, its dignity, its identity, that had been submerged and swamped by a hundred years of colonial rule. Spearheading this tidal wave of national consciousness was Mahatma Gandhi. And a galaxy of thinkers. Jawaharlal Nehru, Maulana Azad, Sardar Patel, Zakir Hussain, Subhash Chandra Bose, Lokmanya Tilak, and millions of Indians of every calling, even students. Among them was a young man fired with the spirit of the Swadeshi movement. He travelled to Germany, earned a doctorate in industrial chemistry and returned to found the House of Sippler. Dr. K. A. Hamid, scientist, nationalist, industrialist, and friend. Almost 40 years, from 1935 until his death in 1972, Dr. K. A. Hamid played a dominant and decisive role in the pharmaceutical industry in India. It was his vision to make India self-reliant and self-sufficient in drugs and medicines through indigenous effort. A historic beginning in 1935, as part of the Swadeshi movement. Indian medicines to match the world's best. Then came the Second World War, and India learned the hard way that it had to stand on its own feet. All supplies of drugs and medicines were cut off from abroad. But drugs were needed here, and during this period of acute scarcity, Sipla developed new processes for the manufacture of several vital drugs. Coramine was an important drug at the time, but the country was helpless, and there was not a single vial to be found until Sipla scientists succeeded in synthesizing the drug. Then, under the Sipla brand name Cardiamid, thousands of ampules of this vital drug saved lives throughout the country. By the end of the war, Sipla was an established name in India. As a pharmaceutical chemist, Dr. Hamid has given to India not only one of the best pharmaceutical industries of its kind, but has established in his factory standards which bring its products in line with the best that were being imported from Germany or from England and America before the war. The country was proud of Sipla. And Sipla was proud to be Indian. a century of distinguished service, a tradition and a promise. Tradition at Sipla has always been the promise of health for all through innovative drug technology. 
so, not surprisingly, Sipla has led the drug industry, giving doctors the very latest therapeutics. Ampicillin, the broad-spectrum antibacterial, was first brought to India by Sipla. So was Salbutamol, which brought new hope to thousands of hopeless asthmatics. The manufacture of Salbutamol involves a complex seven-stage synthesis technology. This was achieved for the first time in India by Sipla. Sipla was also the first to manufacture modern bulk drugs such as these and to develop technology for the manufacture of an advanced drug delivery system medicinal aerosols with metered doses. In the past decade alone, Sipla has an outstanding record of sophisticated drug introductions. Products such as these have changed the face of the company and the management of disease. Siplar for cardiac ailments. Mebex, the broad-spectrum anthelmintic. Ibugesic, the non-steroidal anti-inflammatory antipyretic analgesic. Beclate, the corticosteroid with a powerful topical action. Mycogel, the broad-spectrum antimycotic with antibacterial action. And Metolar, the cardioselective beta blocker. Outstanding among the new drug introductions are two anti-cancer drugs, Vinblastin and Vincristine, developed for the first time in India by Sipla in association with the National Chemical Laboratory. And in 1985, the cardiovascular drug Mifilat and the synthetic hormone Danogen. The introduction of these new drugs became possible as a result of the Indian Patent Act of 1970. Until then, because of restrictive trade practices, the country was starved of new and essential drugs. The Act gave drug companies in India the legal right to manufacture any drug the country might require. Sipla responded to this challenge with in-house development of innovative and adaptive technologies for some of the world's most sophisticated drugs. As a consequence, many of the latest drugs available abroad are now also available in India at reasonable prices. And today, Despite the presence of giant multinationals, Sipla is among the leaders in the industry. Sipla has four manufacturing units employing the latest pharmaceutical technology. At Bombay Central. At Vikroli near Bombay. at Bangalore and at Patal Ganga, a developing industrial zone in Maharashtra. It all began with just two chemists and a commitment to the future. Today, Sipla is a team of over 1,200 dedicated to the same ideals of excellence in the office in the field in the laboratory on the production floor Research and development has been the foundation and backbone of Sipla since its inception 50 years ago. 
emphasis has always been on import substitution. This has resulted in the maximum utilization of indigenous materials and resources. An early achievement was the first commercial manufacture of diosgenin and steroids of prime importance to the country's family planning program. Sipla ranks among the few pharmaceutical companies worldwide conducting research in organic chemistry, agronomy, genetics and natural product chemistry. And the company is working actively in newer therapeutic areas and in the development of new drug delivery systems like implants and nasal sprays. These are some of tomorrow's drugs at various stages of development. It is Zipla's continuing aim to apply relevant scientific discoveries to improve the quality of life and the health and well-being of people, not only in India, but everywhere. Sipla helped lay the foundations of the drug industry in India. The CSIR, India's premier research establishment, was modelled on a plan made by Sipla's founder, Dr. K. A. Hamid. Dr. Hamid served on its governing body for 30 years, from its inception in 1942 until the time of his death in 1972. Sipla continues its close association with the CSIR and other national research laboratories. Among them, the NCL at Pune, the CDRI at Lucknow, the RRLs at Jammu and Hyderabad, and the Institute of Science in Bangalore. Sipla was among the first to commercially develop technology from know-how supplied by the CSIR. Sipla went basic very early. It was the first pharmaceutical company in India to also manufacture basic chemicals. Today, Sipla produces the largest number of bulk drugs and intermediates in the industry. 35% of Sipla's value of production comes from bulk drugs alone. And this is two and a half times more than what is required of pharmaceutical companies in the organized sector. Self-reliance pays. And today, Sipla is largely self-sufficient. More than 80% of the company's bulk drug needs is manufactured in-house, a unique performance in the pharmaceutical industry. Sipla's investment in the future includes its deep involvement in the cultivation of medicinal plants a breakthrough was achieved with the domestication for the first time ever of this wild Mexican species of Dioscoria. The tuber of this plant is a rich source of the steroid precursor diosgenin. Senna. There's a 3,000 year old story here and one that is more recent. From pods and leaves to a handy tablet, safe, mild and convenient. Senaid tablets for export to the USSR. Standardized calcium senocytes are also exported to the USA, Europe and Japan. The periwinkle Vinca rosea holds the key to a treatment for cancer but its secret is locked in its chemistry. Sipla is one of the few pharmaceutical companies worldwide who have unlocked the secret. Now, these two anti-cancer drugs derived from Vinca are both available to doctors in India at 
greatly reduced prices. And the surplus is available for export. CIPLA's high technology capabilities are recognized in the international market. And CIPLA exports pharmaceutical preparations and sophisticated basic chemicals worth several million rupees to West Germany, Japan, the UK, the USA, the USSR and other countries. In 1982, CIPLA received the first Chemixil Award for outstanding export performance. In 1983, CIPLA received yet another recognition, the prestigious Sir P.C. Ray Award. The citation reads, CIPLA has pioneered with distinction the manufacture of a range of bulk drugs in India through essentially in-house technology under severe competition. Some of the bulk drugs involve complicated chemistry and the company has adopted innovative steps. Yes, Sipla still makes news. Fifty years ago, the inauguration of CIPLA was news. And the Sunday Standard, then a prominent weekly newspaper, splashed the news with this comment. India has lagged behind in the march of science, but she is now awakening from her lethargy. The new company has mapped out an ambitious program and, with intelligent direction and skillful production, bids fair to establish a great reputation in the East. Yes, Sipla has established a fine reputation, not only for itself, but for the pharmaceutical industry in India. It has led the way to self-reliance in drugs and medicines. And today, India can indeed match the world's best. Sipla, the fulfillment of a dream. for the future.